Hi, my name is Daryl Party, and I'm one of the gastroenterologists at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I work in the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Clinic and also the C. difficile Clinic. We're here today to talk about the role of fecal transplant in the management of patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Fecal transplant is uh, taking healthy bacteria from normal patients and putting them in the colon of patients with diseases like C. difficile or inflammatory bowel disease. Up to this point, we've had pretty good evidence that fecal transplant treats C. difficile with a high degree of efficacy, 90% or so response rate, with very little toxicity, if any. So it's natural to extend that to patients with inflammatory bowel disease, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, because there's some thought that, that those diseases could be due to uh, abnormalities of the gut bacteria. So up to this point, there have been a number of studies, mostly small case series or even individual case reports, saying fecal transplant might work for IBD, and some saying maybe it doesn't work so well. At this year's DDW, there was a report of a study looking at fecal transplant in patients with ulcerative colitis. So uh, this was about 60 patients. Uh, half of them were randomized to fecal transplant. The other half got water enemas. They got the treatment once a week for six weeks, and then they looked at the response rate. And unfortunately, there was really no difference in response rate between the two treatments, suggesting that at least uh, at this dose and this uh, duration, this frequency, fecal transplant doesn't help patients with ulcerative colitis. Now, uh, there's ongoing studies at multiple centers looking at Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis in adults and children, and further work needs to be done, but at this point, uh, it looks like fecal transplants not indicated for patients with IBD outside of a clinical trial. Thank you.